A child with autism and her parents kicked off a flight, even escorted from the plane by police. He said, we're going to have to ask you to go. And I said, why? And he said, well, the captain is just not comfortable flying to Portland with your daughter on the plane. Now these parents are fighting for change to save other families from enduring the frustration and embarrassment they said they faced. This is Coin 6 News at 4, everyone. I'm Dan Silkin. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Now these local parents say they're planning to even sue United Airlines. Our Amy Frazier, she contacted United today to get some answers. And Amy, you met with the family. This is almost unbelievable. Yeah, the family tells me they are shocked that their plane made an emergency landing. 15-year-old Juliet Forbes does have autism and sometimes expresses her frustrations in loud or physical ways. But they say she was sitting next to a window and her parents, and they say she wasn't a threat to anyone. The captain never came back and said, is everything okay? Or even met her? Never. He landed a plane. It happened Tuesday on United Airlines. Thank you for that pretty smile. On their way home from Disney World during their connecting flight from Houston to Portland. A plane landed. This ignorance. And I get the ignorance. But it has to change. 15 year old Juliet of Tigard has traveled the world with her family. She loves swinging and gymnastics and swimming. She also has autism. You see, I'm frustrated. Yeah. You see, I'm frustrated. But the you. This is some of how she expresses her frustration, something her parents say they saw coming on the flight that day. And I know her when she gets over hungry or over thirsty, she really struggles because she can't tell us. After trying some other food, she says they asked if they could purchase something hot from first class. She says they were initially told no. And I said, okay, fine. We'll get to the meltdown point where she's crying and, and then you're going to want to help her. And that's when he went and got a first class meal. The family says Juliet started to calm down and was watching a video. Then we were shocked to hear him say, we're going to make an emergency landing in Salt Lake City. We have a passenger in the back of the plane who has behavior issues. The next thing they knew, they were landing in Salt Lake City, where airport police asked them to leave the plane. So I started crying. I was furious. So I told them, I'm not leaving until we get statements from the people. Because I could say she's not a threat. They need to hear it from the passengers. So the police officer got 10 pages of statements. And he said, you have a lot of people on your side saying this wasn't an issue. The family has now contacted a lawyer saying Juliet never should have been treated this way. It's about baby training. It was uncalled for. I also reached out to United Airlines today in a statement. A spokesperson says, after working to accommodate Dr. Beagle and her daughter during the flight, the crew made the decision for the safety and comfort of all our customers and elected to divert to Salt Lake City after the situation became disruptive. Now, I can tell you that the family was booked on a different flight, on a different carrier. They, of course, did make it back to Portland, but they say... That's not good enough, and they feel this was really discrimination against their daughter, so they are now working with a lawyer, and they say they intend to sue. So oh. we'll I, keep you posted. I wonder if airlines have policies on how right. you would deal. I mean, there's so much, the spectrum of autism is so wide. I wonder how you would tailor something. And, well, and the mom was saying she just feels like people need more training. Mm. Right. And you wonder if this has happened to other people, maybe if other parents, and maybe if they see this story, they could have an ally of sorts and see how this has maybe moved forward in the past. Yeah, yeah we'll keep you posted. Keep us updated, Amy.